So here's our file. We've got mancandy in it, linked from the library file. We'll save that quickly. File save. Now, it might be unclear how to actually begin animating mancandy because the interface isn't really set up for animation. So let's do a little setup work to make things easier. We'll save it as a different name first. And then save the file. Click Save As or hit Enter. And now you'll notice that Blender has uh, two views, a button view and a 3D view visible. And we can move the boundaries between these views by dragging these borders. You can see that Blender has a tiling window interface. But you can also split new views by hovering your mouse over the edges between areas, right clicking and selecting split area. You can join by selecting join areas, obviously. So we'll split vertically and horizontally here. And if you right click on the header, we can make it go to the top, for instance, and we'll change this to a buttons window. And right click on it and make it a vertical. And as we resize it, we can click home while we're on top of it to zoom it to view. And we can scroll with the mouse wheel. We'll make these bottom headers and then we'll change this to an action editor and we'll change this one to a timeline Now the timeline is pretty cool it allows us to scrub back and forth on animation change the start and end frame, playback or turn on auto keying which looks like a record button here so it's uh, and it's got some other features like markers and other nifty little utilities for animators and the action editor is where we'll actually visualize the animation for the character. So let's save that file and we'll use it as a starting point for our animation action based tutorials.